Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers. It's another episode of the Common Sense MD, something that medicine is sadly lacking, common sense. Um, a lot of you have asked how I'm doing, of course, status post-COVID. I'm doing great. I feel as good as ever. Um, back to work. I really never miss work. I just stayed at home and did telemedicine for the week I was out. Had to be because of the quarantine. But basically, um, I recovered in about two days. Um, felt better than ever. So it was definitely, I can't remember being sick in over a decade, but um, I can remember having the flu once or twice many years ago, and it was definitely a lot, lot easier than having the flu for me. Of course, it's different for different people. This is a wild and wacky time, and, you know, our our world with this pandemic going on and COVID, all the fear-mongering and the, the media scaring you to death and uh, so I appreciate it, and I hope you listened to last week's podcast where I kind of outlined what happened to me with the COVID and how I treated it and how I continue to treat other patients with it and help them out. Uh, at least we're doing something and not telling them, no, there's nothing you can do because there's a lot of things we can do, and we're learning more every day. Um, one supplement that I maybe did mention or not – Wanted to throw in, of course, is L-arginine. L-arginine as well as nitric oxide um, agonists that help you produce more nitric oxide, that vasodilator. I sure added that to my regimen, and that's something that um, I think has been proven to reduce um, severe cases. Uh, may cut in half if you happen to end up in the hospital, which you won't probably. Um cut your days in half just by adding the supplement L-arginine, which is just a great thing. As a, We've used it as a vasodilator. People that work out use it all the time, um, along with L-citrulline, L-ornithine. They kind of go together, but just use L-arginine, about 1,000 milligrams if you get COVID. And it's not a bad idea to take it anyway, you know, pre-workout. But anyway, um, I appreciate everybody asking about me and Hopefully you saw that uh, podcast on what I did to treat um, uh, my own COVID. And so it wasn't bad, you know. Um, but now we've got Omicron coming out. Does that strike fear into anybody? Um, coming out of South Africa, the new mutation, the new variant. That's what viruses do. They mutate. Uh, but thankfully, as they mutate, they get less and less uh, virulent most of the time. I mean, you know, if you took immunology 101 years ago, you, you'd learn not to fear these things and how kind of the natural course of the thing goes. And that's certainly what I want to talk about today is your own immune system. Um, you know, it's really not the virus you need to fear. It's your immune system you need to fear, so you need to keep it healthy. Um, but talking about the Omicron variant, um, it turns out that, um, you know, if you listen to the media, they're kind of foaming at the mouth, you know. Oh, no, this, this variant's evading uh, the vaccines and the natural immunity. Well, a lot of things are evading the vaccine, we found out, even Delta, which is more virulent for sure. I'm sure that's what I had. It's 99 percent. Um, of COVID now. Last May, it was like 3%. Now it's 99%. So we hope that Omicron, which it turns out we think is a lot less virulent, uh, most people so far that I've studied, the reports I've studied out of South Africa, now it's in something like 24 states. It's probably in all the states. They just haven't serotyped it yet. But it turns out in most of the cases, it's it's a two-day mild illness with, um, you know, being very tired and um, sore muscles, maybe a little dry cough. Um, you, ha you retain your taste and smell unlike previously. Um, as a matter of fact, I've already gotten mine completely back. Um, but so, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see what happens with this Omicron variant, but I'm hopeful that it's, um, uh, you know, takes over the Delta, and this thing kind of burns itself out. 
Um, it turns out that it also, Omicron, most of the people that have, have been picked up in this country with Omicron have been fully vaccinated. And a lot of them even boosted on top of that. So, um, you know, there you go. But uh, so I want to talk a little bit about your immune system. And let's talk, let's go a little further on the COVID. Because, you know, they're trying to scare you to death with this COVID. They're trying to shut things down again and, you know, push the jabs. But, uh, in fact, with COVID, the vast majority of deaths of this have been over the age of 75. Uh, Most of them already sick with other diseases, average of 2.5 other comorbidity diseases. Um, Most, of course, morbidly obese Uh, Most of the deaths have been in nursing homes. So the chance of someone dying under the age of 50 is 0.05% with symptoms. A lot of people have this, they don't even know it. Under the age of 18, it's near 0% deaths. I mean, we're talking about kids under 18 hospitalized for COVID, very few. And if they are, most likely they're morbidly obese. Um, So near 0% of them are dying. I think at last count, at least a month or two ago, there was 300-some kids that had died from it. Um, All of them had comorbidities, or most all of them. Um, In fact, seven times more kids would die with flu than COVID this year. Seven times more with influenza. Um, you know, but there's something different about COVID and that's that it can, um, ramp up your own immune system. It can cause that inflammatory cytokine storm in your lungs. And then it can also cause blood clotting. And that's what you should be concerned about. So again, I'm going to tell you to treat early. I'm going to tell you to take vitamin D, C, and zinc. So how do you take care of your immune system? Well, the old Tommy things like stay lean, eat right, exercise daily, get a good night's sleep, keep stress down, and certainly take your, your immune supplements. Um, I'll mention a new one tonight that um, you may want to go out and get. It's called Monolaurin. Um, it's kind of became hard to get there for a while, but um, Monolaurin, it's actually... Uh, a combination of lauric acid and glycerol. And lauric acid is found in mother's milk, human breast milk, and coconut oil. Uh, But it's a great supplement. It destroys about 99% of viruses. It also destroys bacteria and fungus. So it's a great little supplement uh, that you may want to do your own research about. Um, It's kind of hard to find. I guess everybody wants it right now. But I did look up on Amazon. You can order it on Amazon. I haven't found any locally at any of our natural food stores or pharmacies yet, but um, hopefully they will get some in. Um, vitamin D is all is just essential. You know, it's it's just essential for everybody. I can't overemphasize that point. Check your vitamin D levels. Um, you just do so much better with everything, not just fighting off COVID or any virus or illness. But anywhere from your mood to your sleep, it's a hormone. It's not really a vitamin. It's a hormone. Um, zinc. Zinc destroys this COVID virus. you got to get a, a way to get it into the cell, though. And that's one of the functions of quercetin. It gets it into the cell where it destroys it. Um, there's other ones, too, that you should probably look at, like elderberry, echinacea, uh, glutamine is really good. That's one I certainly take. Um, and as I mentioned, L-arginine is a great one. Um, another uh, thing that you need to be, you know, you need to knock this virus out. Another way to do it, of course, is ivermectin, um, that dirty word for which there's been 64 different high-level um, controlled trials of Almost every one of them had showed efficacy, uh, major efficacy in killing this virus off. But and, and the thing about ivermectin is it works works at all stages of the disease, both for 
preventative um, for certainly treatment at high doses early. And, but it also works um, for um, long COVID. I put people all the time, every day I practice, I treat some kind of long hauler, long COVID syndrome. So it works for that as well. Sometimes pretty dramatically. Uh, but, you know, it's been tarnished as a horse dewormer. And, you know, it's actually a human medicine um, that we've used for decades for various illnesses in humans, even kids. So don't uh, be scared of ivermectin for sure but um so there's a lot of there's so there's good treatment protocols so the the thing is that you know we're we're, we're almost two years into this thing we're, we're definitely two years we just didn't know it uh two years into this thing and you know it's still despite probably over 100 million americans getting it and over 450 million jabs probably a lot more by now you know we're still peaking we're still seeing a lot of this so, but we're learning ways to treat early, uh, like some of the ones I mentioned tonight and some of the ones I mentioned last week on my podcast. Certainly with the monoclonal antibodies, we've got a lot more weapons in our arsenal now. But I just wanted to emphasize today to keep your own immune system uh, strong so that you don't have to fear viruses. You know, it's not really the, the treatments that we need to be focused on it's really the prevention and keeping yourself in shape something we've been practicing in, in performance medicine for my 16 years that i've been in practice for that my 35 years of overall practice you know i've more morphed into the preventive in the last 16 years because i realized that you know we're we're just searching for new pharmaceuticals um to make the the big pharmaceutical companies rich and the stockholders rich, I, there's nothing. I've got nothing against that, but um, I think you need to kind of rely on more keeping your own self healthy rather than um, you know searching for drugs that may or may not work. And we've got a lot of uh, pharmaceuticals and natural medicines that are already here at our disposal. Disposal. That's a lot of them are being repurposed uh, to treat viruses like COVID. And I think we've learned a lot from this because there's going to be a lot of other viruses come down the pike. And we need to treat them just like we, we have learned to treat this uh, early. Keep yourself prepared. You know, and don't, don't take it lightly because COVID, you know, it's been bad. It's killed a lot of people worldwide. Uh, most of those have had a lot of pre-morbid conditions, but there have been outliers as well. But, um, you know, the way this virus has really acted, it, it's um, been very elusive. It's almost like uh, this thing has been enhanced or somewhere out of, out of some kind of lab and it leaked or something. Anybody else have that theory? It could be. So, um, so the bottom line is take care of yourself. Um, get your own immune system boosted. You're going to have to take some supplements. You can't eat these immune boosters. You just can't get enough through your food. I wish you could. But we live in a very toxic world these days. So you need to do everything else you can to kind of fight this thing off. I love my infrared sauna. I talk about it all the time. I just got out of it and took my cold shower afterwards to boost my own immune system. Um, I do a lot of... Uh, intermittent fasting, of course. I avoid sugar, um, but uh, which is hard to do during the holiday season. Uh, but anyway, so I hope you guys will not fear. I hope you'll learn a lot of lessons. We've got a lot to learn in the future. But start preparing yourself, uh, your own immune system, to fight off things that are around us all the time. These viruses live in our body. These viruses and bacteria are the majority of our DNA in our body. So you need to... Um, not let them take your body over um, because you can certainly, you're going to live with them anyway, so you need to be able to deal with them and, and deal with these viruses that you're going to come into contact with. So think about the supplements. Uh, if you get sick with COVID, you call our office or one of the other frontline doctors or some of the, the uh, practitioners that are well-versed in treating this illness and Thank goodness for all our healthcare workers. Unfortunately, we're losing a lot of them because they're getting out of the healthcare system. They're burned out. You know, they're tired of some of the stuff that's going on that they have to put up with. 
Um, so anyway, I hope this, I know I've rambled a lot tonight, but uh, I want you to take some of these lessons in hand. If you have any questions, if you want to look at your levels of your vitamins, your immunity, certainly check your uh, COVID antibodies. We check them every day. I can't wait to check mine you know, in another week or so to see what kind of immune response I did get from having COVID, even though my case was, was uh, pretty mild. Um, so anyway, it's Dr. Tom Rogers, um, the Common Sense Doctor. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.